think we've opened up a wooden Pandora's box here. Something absolutely terrifying brought everything on Oak Island to a standstill. This mysterious island has always drawn treasure hunters with its legends of hidden riches. But suddenly, all excavation efforts ceased abruptly. What could be lurking down there that's so horrifying? Join us as we uncover the chilling discovery that compelled producers to halt season 12 instantly. The revelation is bound to change everything we thought we knew about Oak Island. I think we might have hit a collapsed tunnel. The untold tale of Oak Island Stone. The Oak Island story is fascinating and full of surprises. Starting in 1862, when a group called the Onslow Company tried to find treasure there. They dug down deep into the island, but hit a big problem around 80 to 90 feet under the ground. Water began filling up their hole, making it impossible to dig further. This sparked a lot of curiosity and theories. Many people thought there were specially built tunnels from the sea to the dig site, made to flood the pit on purpose to protect whatever was hidden inside. This idea seemed even more likely in 1851 when something unusual was found under the beach at Smith's Cove on the island. Coconut fibers, which don't naturally grow in that area, were discovered there. This discovery made many believe that someone had built a tunnel to let seawater flow into the pit, keeping the hidden treasure safe. As time went on, more people tried to solve the island's questions, each finding new clues and often ending up with more questions than answers. The strange placement of coconut fibers far from their usual home suggested big plans and possibly international connections, maybe involving pirates or hidden royal treasures. However, doubts about these ideas have grown. In 1995, the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution suggested that the supposed signs of human design might just be natural geological features of the island. What were thought to be flood tunnels and drains might actually be leftovers from old salt works. Additional studies indicated that the flooding could be due to natural structures like water-filled and hydrite cavities, which are naturally prone to filling with water rather than any elaborate trap. This ongoing debate between the excitement of human-created structures and the more ordinary explanations provided by science highlights the nature of Oak Island, a place where it's difficult to separate true facts from old stories. The recent and sudden end to the island's treasure hunting activities adds even more intrigue to its history. What was discovered or what people feared was discovered is still not publicly known leading to continued speculation and adding a new chapter to the island's long and complex history. A stone reportedly carved with unusual markings was found 90 feet underground on Oak Island. There are various stories about how it was discovered and what happened to it later, each adding its own flavor of confusion and intrigue to the tale. James DeMille's 1872 novel, The Treasure of the Seas, includes an account from his time living near Oak Island in the late 1860s. In his story, the stone had already been taken from a chimney before the characters arrived on the scene. Originally, the inscriptions on the stone baffled many who saw them, although some dismissed them as accidental scratches. The tale becomes even more convoluted with Reginald Vanderbilt Harris's account in his 1958 book, The Oak Island Mystery. Harris claims that Jefferson W. MacDonald transported the stone to Halifax around 1865 or 1866. Contradicting this, the Blair letter claims that MacDonald only inspected the stone without moving it. Harris's narrative lacks solid evidence to support the claim of the stone's removal during that period. Further mentions of the stone appear in an 1893 prospectus by the Oak Island Treasure Company, which claims the stone was moved to Halifax for further examination. There, it is alleged that James Lichty decoded the inscription to suggest that a large treasure was buried 10 feet below. However, Captain H.L. Bowdoin wrote in a 1911 issue of Collier's Magazine that he saw the stone as a hard, fine-grained basalt and observed no visible carvings, leading him to question the story that the inscriptions had simply worn off, given the stone's resilient nature. During that time, the stone was displayed prominently on the island. A local named Smith had placed it in his fireplace, inscribed side facing out, allowing visitors to see it. After Smith's death, the stone was taken from the fireplace and ended up in Halifax, where it was examined by scholars who could not make sense of any inscriptions. It was later taken to the home of J.B. McCulley in Truro, displayed to many of his acquaintances and sparking interest among those looking for treasure. 
The stone's journey did not stop there. It eventually became a tool for a bookbinder who used it to pound leather for many years, likely erasing any remaining carvings. Finally, the stone made its way to a bookstore in Halifax, with its inscriptions nearly completely erased and its final whereabouts unknown. But the treasure hunt was just getting started. FDR's Hidden Treasure Hunt Despite people talking about the stone, no one has really looked at the writings on it again. One person said the code on the stone meant 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried. This idea came out in Edward Rose Snow's 1949 book, True Tales of Buried Treasure. Snow said he got the symbols from Reverend at Kempton of Cambridge, Massachusetts, but no one else has followed up on this idea. So the stone is just another odd thing in Oak Island's long story. It was interesting once, but now it's just a small part of the island's many stories. Kempton didn't say where he got his information or how. Later, a letter from April 1949 showed he got it from a school teacher who had died. Now let's look at the brave and sometimes reckless people who tried to find Oak Island's treasure. Some well-known people couldn't resist joining the hunt. One of them was Franklin D. Roosevelt. His seafaring grandfather, Warren Delano Jr., told him stories that sparked his interest in Oak Island. Roosevelt's interest started in the early 1900s and continued until he died in 1945. Even while he was president, he kept up with the treasure hunt. He even planned an undercover visit to Oak Island in 1939. But bad weather and world politics stopped it. Celebrities like Errol Flynn, the Australian-American actor, also got involved. He put money into one of the digging efforts. John Wayne, another famous actor, not only invested money, but also sent heavy drilling tools to try and find something valuable. William Vincent Astor, who inherited a big fortune after his father died on the Titanic, supported the hunt quietly with his money. Rear Admiral Richard E. Byrd, who was friends with Roosevelt, took a more active role. He gave advice and was interested in the island, which led to them working together to start the United States Antarctic Service. In 1949, workers found what looked like another treasure pit while digging a well in Mahone Bay. Just two feet down, they hit a layer of stones, then logs at different depths. Some logs were even burned. This made people think they might have found another treasure pit. Joy Steele has a simpler idea. She thinks the original pit was a tar kiln when the island was part of the British naval stores. Another idea is that the pit was for an illegal salt works during the same time. Old stories tell of pirates like Captain Kidd or Blackbeard using the island to hide their stolen treasures, burying them where only they could find them. Blackbeard, whose real name was Edward Teach, is one of the most famous pirates ever. He was born around 1680 and started being a pirate in the early 1700s. Blackbeard was scary because of how he looked. He was tall with a long black beard he would tie with ribbons. In battles, he would light fuses under his hat to make smoke and sparks fly around his head, looking like a demon. Blackbeard's ship was called the Queen Anne's Revenge. It was a French slave ship he captured and armed with 40 guns. He terrorized the seas around the West Indies and the American colony's east coast, scaring sailors and towns. His scary rule lasted until he died in a big fight with British naval forces off the coast of North Carolina in 1718. Even though the stone from 1949 was interesting, no one looked into it more. The stone's code said, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried, which came from a 1949 book by Edward Rowe Snow. Snow got the symbols from Reverend at Kempton, but no one else followed up. So the stone became just another odd part of Oak Island's story. It was once interesting, but is now just a small piece of the island's many tales. One of the most intriguing aspects of Blackbeard's legacy is the question surrounding his buried treasure. Despite numerous tales and legends, no one has ever definitively found Blackbeard's treasure. Some believe it lies hidden on the coast of North Carolina, while others suggest more exotic locations. This enigma has kept treasure hunters and historians intrigued for centuries. More complex stories involve Templars or Incas using the pit to hide their valuable items from European invaders, or masons using it for complex initiation rites, as detailed in various books and theories by authors like Mark Finnan and Penn Leary. Leary even suggested that the pit might have been used to hide evidence that Francis Bacon was the real author behind Shakespeare's plays. With a mix of historical intrigue and creative speculation, 
Theories about Oak Island continue to grow with each new book or documentary, each adding more to the already complex lore surrounding the island. From respected historical figures to regular treasure seekers, the island continues to attract a diverse crowd, each person eager to find not just material wealth, but also a piece of history, no matter how improbable the story might seem. Whether driven by fame, the potential for wealth, or simple curiosity, the fascination with Oak Island remains strong, securing its place in the history of treasure hunting. Daniel McInnes and his two young friends thought they had found something big when they saw a hole in the ground on Oak Island. Given that the area was known for pirates in the 17th and early 18th centuries, they guessed this hole might be hiding a pirate's treasure. Their digging revealed a deep pit with wooden logs and flat stones, suggesting there was more than just a simple hole. Even celebrities couldn't resist the island's lure, the ongoing quest for Oak Island's secrets. Encouraged by their find, they bought land on the island, similar to Samuel Ball, a former slave who eventually became one of the largest landowners there. Despite rumors that suggest these early adventurers found great wealth, no one has ever proven this to be true. Over the years, the search for treasure on Oak Island evolved from using basic tools to modern excavation technologies. Yet the island is known for its frequent flooding and collapses, often stopping the treasure hunts abruptly. Experts like Gordon Fader and Joy A. Steele have noted that the island's natural limestone and sinkholes tend to collect debris. This has led many to mistakenly think there are elaborate underground passages and hidden rooms. This hasn't deterred various groups from trying their luck, including the Old Gold Salvage and Wrecking Company, which even drew the interest and investment of Franklin D. Roosevelt. The island's past is often spiced up with tales of unknown diggers and hidden tunnels, and discoveries such as old coins, pieces of parchment, and even human bones. These findings add layers of complexity to the island's history hinting at possible buried items ranging from pirate gold to important religious items. Yet the recent stop in activities might suggest the dangers and costs are becoming too much, or perhaps point to something more troubling. The television show The Curse of Oak Island has followed Rick and Marty Legina as they use the latest technology to search for the treasure. This show has not only rekindled interest in the island, but has also brought it to a worldwide audience eager to see what the brothers might find next. They've uncovered items like a copper artifact and a gold-plated brooch, which might link to historical figures or events, adding to the intrigue. However, despite all the modern equipment and expert opinions, Oak Island continues to be a place that raises more questions than it answers. Each new finding complicates the island's history rather than clarifying it, leading some to think about the possibility of connections to ancient civilizations or lost religious artifacts. Yet the fascination with Oak Island continues, driven by a blend of hope, the desire for wealth, or just plain curiosity about what lies beneath. The ongoing search is a testament to human determination, facing nature's reluctance to reveal its hidden past. Whether motivated by the potential of finding hidden treasures or just the thrill of the hunt, the story of Oak Island captures the imaginations of many as they wait to see if the next discovery will finally uncover the long-sought answers. The recent pause in digging on Oak Island, especially after discovering gold in the DN 11.5 borehole, has confused historians and treasure seekers. This unexpected stop has disrupted an ongoing adventure, and it's unclear why the search was halted. The lack of information has led to widespread guessing. Could environmental or safety issues have caused the stop? These are serious concerns considering the size and methods of the excavation. However, there's talk among those following the treasure hunt that perhaps something more significant was found, something that could change historical understandings and require delicate handling or even government involvement. It's also important to consider the newly found tunnel discovered 95 feet deep and running east to west under the garden shaft. Identified in three separate drilling attempts, this tunnel could be crucial in linking different pieces of Oak Island's long and complex history. This find alone could change many things. Yet like the other discoveries, it remains shrouded in silence. On social media, followers of the show and supporters of the Legina Brothers' long quest express their disappointment and confusion. They are eager to know what lies beneath the ground, the potential changes in history, the discovery of important archeological items, and the implications of finding gold 
are all topics of intense discussion and anticipation. The speculation is intense. Could this pause in digging indicate a critical moment? The uncovering of items linked to various ancestries and significant historical periods hints that Oak Island might have more stories buried than previously thought. These items, if as important as speculated, could lead to debates over who owns them, how they should be preserved, and how they are interpreted. Advanced tech revealed even more surprises strange disturbances and hidden treasures beneath Oak Island. The story of Oak Island has long been about searching for truth just as much as treasure, and the recent shift to a more precise method of exploration highlights this ongoing quest. However, the limited information available hasn't stopped people from coming up with wild theories, including ideas about undercover government activities and encounters with unexplained phenomena. These theories, though varied, show just how much Oak Island has grabbed people's attention. As both fans and experts eagerly wait for more news, the island continues to hold a strong appeal because of its historical significance and recent unusual events. The lack of definitive answers and the continuation of strange occurrences have only increased this interest. Oak Island remains a central topic for those interested in unresolved historical stories and the ongoing exploration. Additionally, there have been reports of strange lights at night. These lights vary in color and appear to float in the air. They do not resemble any known aircraft or natural celestial phenomena. Intriguingly, these lights have started appearing at the same time as the tremors, which has led to much speculation about a possible connection between the two. The situation is further complicated by electromagnetic disturbances that are interfering with both the sophisticated equipment used in the excavations and personal electronic devices. It seems that whatever is hidden beneath Oak Island is not only difficult to reach, but also surrounded by phenomena that disrupt normal technological operations. These complications make the work on Oak Island challenging. Each new finding seems to come with additional problems, and every answer uncovers more questions. As treasure hunters continue their search, they face not only physical barriers, but also unusual occurrences that challenge their expectations and understanding. This series of events has made the quest on Oak Island not just a search for treasure, but also a confrontation with unexpected and unexplained phenomena. Moreover, recent drone footage has captured a distinct symmetrical pattern that appeared near the excavation site overnight. This, along with environmental issues, minor earthquakes, unexplained lights, electromagnetic disturbances, and changes in wildlife behavior indicates that unusual activities are taking place. As the excavation team continues to investigate the history of Oak Island, they encounter increasing evidence that suggests the island holds more troubling phenomena than initially anticipated. Historians and archaeologists are proceeding with caution, hypothesizing that the ongoing extensive drilling and excavation might be causing the ground to become unstable, potentially explaining the seismic activities. However, this explanation does not fully address the other unexplained events, such as the strange lights and the malfunctioning of electronic devices. Some experts have started to consider more unconventional explanations, pondering whether the excavation activities might have disturbed an ancient or possibly extraterrestrial entity. This idea is supported by the island's long-standing reputation for unexplained occurrences. Emma Culligan, a specialist in the study of ancient metals, who had previously confirmed the presence of gold in a wood sample from a borehole, has now expressed her concerns about these developments. She theorizes that the excavation could have initiated a reaction with unknown materials or energies that are buried deep within the island. The situation on Oak Island presents a complex blend of concrete observations and speculative theories. The strange phenomena observed challenge the conventional understanding of the island and inspire a cautious approach among the experts involved. As the team delves deeper, they must balance the excitement of discovery with the responsibility of handling potentially destabilizing forces, all while trying to solve the island's long-standing and perplexing issues. The ongoing events at Oak Island are marked more by their repetitive halts than by any groundbreaking discoveries, a pattern that has become tiresomely predictable for those following its history. Known as a destination that draws both treasure seekers and those keen on historical finds, the island now faces significant challenges. Strange happenings hinted at bigger discoveries. Cursed or cautious?
The local businesses that once flourished because of tourists are now facing hard times. With fewer people visiting, the economy around Oak Island is really struggling. Stores, guided tours, and places to eat that used to be full of lively visitors are now silent and filled with uncertainty. Rick and Marty Legina, together with their team, have put a lot of money and heart into their search for the hidden treasure. This sudden stop has forced them to think hard about what comes next. Can they start their search again? If they can, what needs to happen for that to be possible? The treasure thereafter is still out of reach, keeping them in a constant cycle of hope and letdown. The recent pause in their activities has led to many guesses about why it happened. Some people think it was stopped by powerful groups because of the dangers involved or because the discovery could be very important. These guesses keep people interested fueled more by a love for exciting stories than a belief in anything magical or otherworldly happening. This break affects more than just the treasure hunt. It changes the whole community and adds another twist to a story that's been going on for decades. It makes people both curious and doubtful. As Oak Island is quieter than ever, those watching the events unfold are trying to figure out what this all means and what might happen next. People often doubt the Oak Island story especially thinking about whether the government stopped the digging. Some critics believe the government might want to prevent the uncovering of truths that could upset widely accepted historical views. These could be discoveries showing that explorers reached America before Columbus or finding signs of advanced ancient civilizations that have been forgotten. There's a worry that such discoveries could shake up the academic world challenging what we think we know and causing a big rethink of historical records. The idea that these findings could disrupt what's commonly believed might worry some authorities, possibly leading them to stop further exploration to keep these treasures buried. On a more unusual note, some think the Oak Island treasure might be extraterrestrial. Supporters of this idea point to strange lights and other odd happenings on the island as proof that the excavation might have uncovered items from other civilizations. They believe the real reason for stopping the dig is to keep the public calm and avoid a frenzy about aliens. There are also stories of a curse on Oak Island, which is said to bring bad luck to anyone trying to find its legendary tales. Some think these treasures are guarded by a harmful force that causes trouble and accidents for those who dare to explore deeper, keeping the island's reputation for danger. Another thought is that the shutdown was for more down-to-earth reasons like protecting the environment or keeping workers safe. The heavy digging and drilling could have hurt the local animals or been risky for the people working there. Still, with no clear explanation from any official source, some believe these practical reasons might just be a cover for other hidden reasons. Without solid, confirmed information, various theories keep growing, each adding to Oak Island's mystique as a place full of unsolved stories. Each theory invites more speculation and chat about what other legendary tales might be hidden there. As long as the island keeps its legendary tales, the desire to uncover its truth stays strong, making sure Oak Island remains a key topic of interest and discussion. What do you think lies buried on Oak Island? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.